When I look into the mirror, a man stares back. A man whose brain remains strong and intact. All right, all right. Let's get this shit cracking. Marriage. Is it going out of style? The answer <laughs> for me is yes. Why? Let me start with this. Protestant work ethic. Uh, most of who we are, as especially Americans, people, human beings, animals, everything on this earth is all a control system. Everything you believe to be legitimate, everything you fight for that you think is legitimate, it's all a control system to get one person to be in servitude to another, enslavement, entrapment, uh, and it's all to basically take your rights away and have you give your power away to somebody else. It's all to lose your power. Okay, this is this is this is the corporate world. Um, most of you are working a job that does nothing for you to get a little bit of money to buy a house that you don't live in because you work all day. Um, to buy cars you can't drive because you're working all day, and to have a family that you never see because you work all day. Um, so you see how they've taken everything from you, but you fight because you think that that's the life to lead. Um, religion, same thing, same basis. Uh, nobody knows who God is, my opinion, but people have thought, well, okay, now that we know psychologically everybody yearns for some higher power, let's make up a higher power and we'll be able to control all these people. This has been proven. This is what the Catholic Church started doing. Uh, taking tithes for people to get into heaven. This is proof. You research it. Instead of hating on me, just research it. This is all that it is, right? All control systems to take you away from, from loving others and yourself. That's what it is. Marriage, same thing. I heard a quote once that said, uh, who in their right mind had the thought of, man, I really love this person. We should get the government involved, okay? First of all, <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of mixed reviews about this, I know. But who are we, who are we as people to look to a person that we love and say, sign this paper, now I own you. And I know people will say, it's not about owning, it's about free will and them coming into the relation. No, no, that that's what it is. You're telling a person, now, from now on, what you do, what you say, how you act, where you work, where you live, how you spend your money, what you do with your life, how you react to people, how you act, what you do for me, is all bounded to me telling you what you can and cannot do. And, to go further, if you do not want to listen to what I tell you you must do, I will take your alimony, I'll take your belongings, I'll... Um, you're going to have to pay $10,000 or somewhat in uh, lawyer's fees to get a divorce. A lot of people go bankrupt. Their lives shatter and crush. And it's hurting a lot of people. Um, to go further. Fuck, I don't remember what I was on. Um, Let's go further this this doesn't have anything to do with love okay because as you can see especially as of late I post a lot about love I love love I love people I love relationships whether you're a man with a man or a man with a woman or a man with a tree I, I, I really don't care if, if you're love and nice you should love somebody I don't care how you do it shit it's fine with me but it's the control scheme next to love so love has not turned into what can I do for you and how can I make sure you are the happiest you. It's you're my property now and I can tell you how to live your life. And I, you are stuck in this no matter what you think. Um, and and now you can actually see how when I talked about religion earlier, trapping people in, that's why religion also, in a way, created marriage. Um, because it's all about, well, God wants you to do this and you can't have premarital sex, so you have to get married. So people think, oh, you know, <clears throat> politics and church are separate. No, it's the same damn thing. It just looks different. <laughs> it just looks different. 
Because your politics are your god. You guys all, that's what you believe in. These people run me. They, what are they going to tell me to do next? Because I don't know how to do it myself. So we run to marriage, and we run to church, and we run to politics, and we run to the police, and we run to firemen, and we run to the army. Uh, and they've created all these figures, these people who wear suits and, and, and shiny things, and they will carry guns. This is all that it is, man. And I'm not saying police don't help people. Firemen don't help people. I, I, I don't. I can't say anything about the army because it wouldn't be po positive. But <clears throat> it's the point that we put others above others to say that these are the leaders, and you yourself aren't a leader. Further, let's go back into marriage. So we are animals, right? And I talked to a couple the other day, and it was a very enlightening experience, and I really enjoyed their time. If you're listening to this, you know who you are. Um, it's not my business to share who you are. But lovely folks, lovely folks. And I'm really into a stage of my life where I think it was Henry Rollins that said to live a better life, jump out of your comfort zone. If you've, if you've lived with a bunch of money, see what it's like to be poor. If you've lived with a bunch of food, see what it's like to not have much food. If you've been unhealthy your whole life, try to be healthy. See how that works. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> if you've never exercised, try exercising. See what that does for you. If you've had sex nonstop your whole life, try a little abstinence for a little bit. See how that goes. Drink, drugs, same thing. If you've never done drugs, eh, smoke some weed. See how that <laughs> see how that treats you. I'm not saying get addictions. But so I talked to these people. <laughs> I'm going back and forth. It's ADD or fucking I don't know obsessive compulsive. But so uh, it it was a, 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 a I so what I was saying. Oh, going out of your comfort zone. So I really like to see different people, and I love to meet new people and see different lifestyles and experience new ways of life. Not always because I want to do them, but I love to see how other people want to experience their realities. So I talked to this couple, and right in front of each other. The man and the woman are talking about, oh, yeah, well, first of all, we're married. We say we're married, but we didn't get a certificate, which I think is beautiful. They didn't sign any paperwork. Um, but also, they were talking about it being attracted to other people right in front of each other. And I'm like, wow. And they're in an open relationship, right? Been together for a few years and stuff like that. And the man told me something that is so real and so true. That it really affected me. He said, you know, I noticed the strangest thing was after I got married, <laughs> my sexuality didn't just cut off. I didn't stop being sexually attracted to other women. I didn't stop being attracted to other women. I didn't stop wanting to experience other women. And the thing that's weird about this is people think that's not normal when it is. I think part of this whole problem and sexual repression and, and, and all this stuff and marriage is us forgetting our animal nature. And I'm not saying run around and be barbarians, but we have reproductive organs. We have neural connections and with our penis and different parts of our body for, for uh, sensation purposes and sensuality that cause us to look at creatures that are beautiful and have a reproductive thought about that creature. Um, psychologically, some people say that a woman with big hips sometimes can cause a man to become very um, horny because it it shows something like um, she she would be give very healthy birthing. So we don't even think, oh, she's <laughs> she'll give healthy birth with those big hips. No, we just think, oh man, I want to fuck her, you know, or damn, she's beautiful, or. I want to touch her, or I want to see what her butt looks like, or I want to see how her inner and minora and majora labia look like, whatever it could be. It doesn't come out as this animal process because we are human, but the backing of us is this animal. So when this man told me I still sexually want to be with other women, I was like, that sounds completely fucking legit. Completely, you know? And... and and the people that are doubting what I'm saying, just think about this. Why is there a, what is it now, 60% divorce rate? 70%? It's probably at fucking 85 by now, because that was a few years ago I heard that uh, statistic. You know, why do you think a lot of people, my, my parents, for instance, got divorced when the kids moved out? Because they realized, damn, you, 
you you constantly changing. I mean, I am so different from who I was two years ago, and I, and better, better. But people are constantly changing. The world is constantly changing. Comforts is what kills. So we we block ourselves in these things. We shut ourselves in homes. We shut ourselves in corporations. We shut ourselves in little cliques of people, and we never go out of them. We shut ourselves in religions. We shut ourselves in marriage. And a lot of people in marriage, what they do, especially in religion, is I'm married, so I can never talk to another sex. I can never hang out with another sex. I can never, I can never look at another sex. And it's all natural instincts that are shut away. I talked about in my Let's Talk About Sex the other day. This is why pastors fuck kids in the mouth. This is why there's so much rape here. This is why there's so many sex crimes. Because it's all shut off. And if you shut shit off, it's going to be like a plugged up faucet. And that's just going to spray out. And this is what's fucking us up, you know. And then not to mention the fact that you get into this marriage and a lot of things change and one person may become less sexually attractive or or sexually attracted to the other. And then um, – and then – and then so you're you're stuck in a situation where it's like, okay, my wife isn't – giving me BJ's anymore. My husband's not eating me out. We're not having passionate sex anymore, but we're married, so I guess I'll just give that up. And we repress all this shit. Um Jeez, I don't know where else to go from there. So um you know, and it's not to say that you know, we should all be, as I said in another video, it's not to say that we should all be fucking each other to an extent, or we should be spreading diseases or, you know, ruining people emotionally. But now, it's this progressive lockdown of things. Lockdown into this Jesus for the rest of your life. Lockdown with this person for the rest of your life. People are constantly changing, man. People are constantly changing. And the thing is, we're, we're saying, if I own you. This is indentured servanthood, by the way. The same thing that you're doing with your job. It's all slavery. If you look at the definition, look up slavery, look at how it started, look at what it turned into, and look how it progressed, okay? Um, we're saying, I own you. If you want to leave, you cannot. Well, in my opinion, it's like I would think that if I really love somebody truly, truly, I would say, babe, I, I love you enough to say if you wake up one morning and you're not happy, and we try to work through it and we go through counseling and you're still not happy and you kind of feel like things just kind of went away. I would, I would really, I love for you to just go, you know, and be happy and find love with somebody else. That's true love to say, I love you enough that if you don't love me, it would make my heart sing for you to be happy with somebody else. But we get so controlling and possessive and loves turn into this creepy thing uh, George Carlin talks about the creepy love people have for their own children and the family and it's all this mine mine you are mine and you know don't touch my kid you know don't help my kid don't talk to my husband don't tell my husband don't tell my wife and we're all trapped in this thing is marriage a thing of the past yes I believe it to be so why because religion is a thing of the past the corporate world is a thing of the past. Controlling mechanisms and, and, and situations and societies are a thing of the past. Whether they're completely gone now or not, I don't know about you. I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'm with a lot of revolutionary friends on my page, but I see it big time. I mean, I've grown a lot and I'm not little, so I'm on the internet and doing adult things, but I see this shit big time. Once again, I'm not saying shoot the government or go and raid the White House. I, I'm not, no, none of that or get guns and sh kill the government no but all i'm saying is people are clearly standing up now and saying nope i i just it's legal for me to say nope i don't want to work a fucking bullshit job and ruin my life no i don't want to marry you know because the thing is this is what the slave trade has done it's become so fucking awesome because i'll give people credit even if they're the bad in my perspective i'll give you credit if you're smart at being bad if you're a thief and you're really good at it i'll give you credit if you're the government 
and you're running people into the ground and killing them and you're really good at it, I'll give you some fucking credit. Because I think people are very easily manipulated. Uh, yet, I think some, not not easy to do. And, and somehow the slave trade has done it. So, fuck. Yeah, I gotta write my shit down to make these more legitimate. <clears throat> but, oh, yeah. So, what I was saying was... Oh, now the slave trade has become so rampant through religion, through work, through the work ethic, through the Protestant work ethic, through the corporations, through the pharmaceutical companies, through religion. Um, the slave trade has actually become so so great that people fight to be slaves. And if you're not one, and I deal with this often because people see my lifestyle and they're upset that I'm not living the way they are. So they say, you know what? You don't have a lot of money. What? You don't drive a car? You don't work in a in a warehouse. I'll, I'll be like, yeah, but I'm I'm trying to be life coach. I'm trying to help people. That's not good enough. Helping people doesn't make you money. <laughs> it's like I get this shit all the time, man. And I'm like, I, okay, I won't even talk to you about it because you clearly don't understand. But the slave trade has become so awesome, so great, so smart that we fight each other to make other people slaves. Now, if you're in a family, and I deal with this with a lot of people, and I talked to this with that couple the other day. If you're in a family and you tell them, yeah, I love my girlfriend. She's really great. When are you going to get married to her, Jimmy? When are you going to put a ring on her there, Bob? You know, that's what we do in our family. That's what Christians do. That's what God would say. It's the Bible. It's the only thing out there. There's never been anything else. That's it. <laughs> that's what he says to do. That's what you got to do. And you're like, ah, I really don't know. That just, it sounds like really, I'm... I'm setting myself up almost for for downfall. It doesn't sound legitimate. I don't think it sounds logical to trap somebody or to trap myself. Yo, you have to do that. That's what God says. That's what everybody says. This is coming from your parents. So they don't need the government, the higher-ups, the, the slave trade, different opposite opposing cultures and colors. This does, this is nothing about white and black anymore, people. This is nothing about any of that. This is about our own people. Jesus in the Bible. Okay, I know I just said fuck the Bible, but there is some things in the Bible that I think we can really follow, okay? So that's why I said I don't hate religion, but I think a lot of it's fucked up. <laughs> but there's something in the Bible where um, Jesus said, I didn't come to bring something like, I didn't come to bring love, I came with a sword. He said something like, there is a time where mother's going to go against father, mother against daughter, mother against son, son against son, brother against sister. What I believe this meant is there's going to be a time when you're going to try to live freely and your family, your friends are going to still want to be slaves and be enriched in this culture that they've grown to love of just being trapped and giving up everything they own. Um... And we, a lot of us, feel like that. And no, this is, oh, Trevor, you say negative things and you create them. Whatever. This is it. This is what's happening. This is what you will see. This is what I see. I'm still very happy. I am. Because this make me sad if somebody else doesn't agree with me. That's, I still love myself. I think I'm doing things fucking awesome. So, it's not that it's the slave driver anymore. It's not that it's the white man versus the black man. Or vice versa. Or any other culture. This is us versus ourselves. This is your your parents training you to be a slave from the beginning. This is your boss convincing you that 15 cents is going to really change your life in a raise. This is your boss convincing you that it's totally worth working holidays. Why do you think they pay you fucking triple time? Because mm, it's fucking bullshit. And everybody does it. Everybody I knew. Oh, it's triple time, Trev. That's money. Fuck my family. Do you see? Marriage is the same thing. I'm not saying don't love people. I'm not saying don't be kind to people. I'm not even saying don't have kids. But I'm saying you are meant to be free. You are meant to love how you would want to. You are meant to move with the wind. To have a gypsy heart. You are not meant to be trapped in anything. Because being trapped and living in the same rigmarole every day 
you're never going to grow and you're never going to know anything. You're just going to die with knowing the same shit you did when you left fucking college or high school or worse, when you were a kid. Thinking is key. Why is marriage a thing of the past? Because it's not about controlling people anymore. It's not about a false love made up by religion and corporations and society. This is about true love, wanting the other person to be just as free as you. And being allowed to say, Do you want to talk to another woman tonight? Yeah, sure. Do you want to separate? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not mature enough to where I can say I'm, I'm up for that whole open relationship thing. I, I really like monogamy. But if the person said I would like to leave, wouldn't it be nice for all of us to be able to say, I want you to be happy? Marriage is controlling selfish love. That's why it's a thing of the past. Can you see? Are you angry? Can we discuss it instead of you just being angry? Um, does it make sense? Um, do you see how this whole thing is the same thing? Marriage, religion, corporation, it's all the same thing. Taking away rights of people. I do love you guys. Believe it or not. Uh, I really do. And, and, and the basis of this is for people to be happy. It's not for me to hate. Because I know people go in the army, people get married, people do corporate jobs all for something they think is legitimate. But what I'm saying is, in my opinion, if you want to know something more and if you are like me and you're thinking that there's something going on, this is for you. And that's what I'm about. If you don't believe it, totally fine. I love you anyway. And I'll totally be your friend and back your marriage. I don't give a fuck. But I'm saying for the people who think there's something different, let's talk, man. All right? Peace. I will receive very great things because of my good deeds. You could never stop me.